What's good, everybody? It is your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And you guys know I have been weighing in on the Miriam Shumate situation. She's the Nigerian YouTuber that her husband, uh, Hunter, left her and filed for divorce. And she was pretty much looking for a place to stay, asked her fans for $10,000 on GoFundMe. And then right before it, I don't know if her page got hacked or something like that, but she was in her car pretty much asking for a co-signer for a house for somebody. Like, it's just they're real desperate, right? And um, when she made this kind of video right before there's another YouTube channel by the name of Sis G Official. Now, Sis G Official, just like Miriam Shamate, is married to a white man and has a baby by a white man. I believe she's from, she says she's Congolese, but she does have like a South African accent. So I believe that's, that's where she's at, right? But she is also another channel that tries to give black women advice on how she can get a white man or how they can get a white man. It's kind of like, you know, she's in that interracial dating community. And like I said, I personally don't have no problem with whatever you want to create content on. I, that's not the, the point of the video, but that's what she does. But she made a video called Black Women Should Stop Dating Down. And she mentions Miriam Shimate, Nikki Perkins, and Tony Delaney. Now, three of the women, and I believe at least two of them are not African American. I don't know about Nikki Perkins, but I will talk about Tony Delaney, right? And Tony Delaney, I, I mean, out of any of these, that was probably the most embarrassing. Tony Delaney was the, the one that was the most embarrassing, okay? Tony Delaney is a black woman from Canada. And if you, she had a channel called Tony and the Boy. That was the, the channel with her and her white husband until the white husband left her and moved to Brazil and got another chick. And if you see the screenshot of this blog where she's just like the thumbnail, she's just like crying her eyes out. It's called my husband left me daily vlog. Number one. I mean, she was just going through it, right? Just depressed, crying. It, it was, a, it was a mess. Like, People were making fun of her and all of that. Like, 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 look at this, this screenshot. Four tips to overcome heartbreak. I mean, you see she put herself out there with the picture on the left. It was almost like some severe mental issues were really, really, really going on. Like if I was going through that kind of stuff, I would never put that on social media. Um, but she did, right? And the white guy, was using, you know, when he had moved to Brazil, he was asking her, could he use her Netflix account and basically trying to watch Netflix with another chick. I mean, it just, it just how bad it was. It was, it was horrible, right? I mean, it was just horrible. And Sis G is making the point that with well, all these women that have these problems that were public breakups, Miriam Shamate, Nikki Perkins, and Tony Delaney, that black women should stop dating down and that these white guys that they are dating are dusty. And she actually said dusty. Now I'm not going to play her video because I don't want to get copyright stri stricken, but that was her phrase. You know, sisters need to stop dating um, down and consider dating up what to look for a man. But see, here's the problem that sis G official can't deal with is that the reason why though why those women these women dated down is because that's the best that they could have done okay and you know and i want to talk about this a lot of people that come out of this swirling community they say that they don't want to date black men because black men are you know not that great black men have a problem you know black men are not faithful you know black men are not serious you know what I'm saying? Black men are not serious. 
Okay, so then you go to the white community, right? You go get a white guy, you go get Brad, and then you have the same problems minus the black guy. I mean, you go and see, you you know, black men, you, you know, are not serious relationships. So you go marry a white guy, that doesn't work out. Like Miriam Shamate, Nikki Perkins, or Tony Delaney. And then the same thing happens. So what does that tell me? That the problem wasn't a black man. The problem was them. You know? And so what you want to do now is you want to come back and, and, and put the onus on, well, you know, you know, you sisters are got to stop dating down. But what you saying that about black men? Wait, hold on. When you dating Pookie, dating Ray Ray, you know, he don't make enough money. Are you dating little Charles? Are you dating Bobby? Well, he, he not good enough, right? He not on your level. But then you go to the white community and then you have the same problems. And the reason why they're having the same problems is because water seeks its own level. You can't date up if you're not up. That's the issue. Because you know what? Let me say this. If you are a black man and you say, man, I'm having problems with black women. I'm going to go date me a white girl. Um, you know, white women, you know, they just don't, you know, black women don't have what I'm looking for. They're not ready for a relationship. What would a black woman tell you? Oh, you dealing with the wrong black woman. If you can't get you a quality black woman, that's your fault. You know, cause you never see things like this happen. Even on YouTube, black man gets with the white woman, white woman leaves the black man. And then some black man who caters to non-black women has to say, Hey, black men, you know, we got to start dating up. We got to stop dating low value white women. You will never see that video ever. You will never see a black man have a video say, we need to start dating low value white women, brothers. We need to date up. When we're dating in a race, we need to date up. Cause these white women are dusty. That's what Sis G official was saying. Okay. And let me, let me tell you how bad this is. Sis G official and other people like her. How many white men do you see with channels teaching other white men how to get black women? How many white male channels are giving advice to white men how to get black women? You will find it for how to date Asian women. You will find it for how to date Latina women, but you will not find for the most, uh, I would say two or three channels if it even exists. I think it's zero. You're not gonna find white guys that have YouTube channels dedicated to how to get black women. But you see black women having channels all the time on how to get white men. So who's the prize here? I mean, let's just be honest. It's obvious that the reason why white men don't have to do that is because Y'all work, you know, like you, you want to get with them regardless because they're white. So they don't have to worry about coming out with tips and tricks to get you, but you got to come up with tips and tricks to get them. It's almost like y'all are begging them. And let me read this comment. Cause I, I made a comment right here and it says, you know, after I watched the video, I said this, but I thought black women were leaving black men to get better options. You mean to tell me black women are interracial dating and dating dusty white men again, she called white men dusty. You know, dusty is a, a, a word for black men, right? This is a black woman problem, not a black man problem. If they are dating dusty white men, that is a reflection of them. Water seeks its own level. Then you had this, um, this weavy named, I guess her name is Sam Ellis. And she's another, you know, just struggle weaved out all the time. Like, as you can see, this is her video right here, couch talk, traveling as an interracial couple. I mean, just look at this. Like, we'll try to blur out the face a little bit, but look at the thumbnail. Just we just weaving it up. Like, I mean, I see why you probably got to get a white guy because that is a struggle week. But anyways, let me let me read what she said in the comment. You know, because she was weaving it up. Dating music. 
Allstate, Dick Jackson. Listen, don't take these examples of black women not understanding what it really means to level up an aspect when choosing a mate to make your weak point. Most of you black boys are still not a better option. Most of you are still duties, period. Stop the show. Like, you can't even spell. Like, that weave is so struggled out that you can't even spell right. It's dusties. I mean, again, you're interracially dating and you can't spell. I do, however, think that a lot of channels that promote interracial dating don't tell the whole truth when talking about interracial men, and that needs to be worked on. Black women need to still vent, not black men. Stop the show. Again, idiot. It's vet, V-E-T. Like, how are you interracially dating and you can't even read and write? They are still men. I don't understand why this is so hard to understand. Just because he might have white skin does not mean he is not trash. Your spelling and vocabulary is trash, though. Like, let's not get it messed up. Dating music! All these black women in this video married and dated down, and they did not seem to understand what it truly means to only accept things and people who really deserve you. You deserve spell check. Personally, I don't see any competition between black boys and white men. There are more better white men than black boys in any day in my eyes. Stop it. So you see how she refers to black men as boys and white men as white men. But look at your struggle weave that you have. Like, this weave is so struggled out. You look horrific. But you're talking about what's black. You're mad. Don't be mad at black men. Don't take it out on black men. Take it out on that damn weave. Okay? Get them two for five dollar bundles somewhere and just stop being mad. Like, you hate black people. That's what it is. Yes, this is a black women problem. So why are you even commenting? Stay in your lane. Just like there are stupid black women who are still mammies that will be BW who don't understand getting a level up men. Who don't understand getting a level up men. What does that mean? You can't even write. Couple BW mistakes don't speak or represent all of the cases and understanding when it comes to all swirling circles. I absolutely stop the show. It does. Because why? Sis G made a video called Black Women Should Stop Dating Down. Obviously, 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 it was a problem because she made a video about it. We will continue to educate to help them better understand. Cheers. How about they help you spell better because you can't spell read or write. So obviously I know that the guy that you're dealing with don't got no money. I know that you ain't got no money because you can barely read. So I know that you're not formally educated or have a good career or nothing. You're struggling it up. Look, and then she put our, like you can't even spell and you're trying to spell after what this, my goodness, my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. Just struggle everywhere. All right? So, like I said, we're not going to be dealing with y'all with this with this foolishness. Like I said, shout out to Sis, uh, Sis G Official. Don't go over there trolling her and her channel, whatever. Um, it's not that serious. She's just trying to swirl it up. I don't have no problem with, you know, like I said, she doing what she doing. But I, I noticed this video was there, so I made a, you know, I made a video about it. So, it's just me doing my thing. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Hit the bell when I go live or when the notification is, is uh, here. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Um, you might want to check those out. Go buy one. Go to the first comment pinned to the top. And as you brothers know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Peace! We out.